you know, I'm from New York. Somebody could be reading this on the subway and they have to use the bathroom like crazy and they have 80 other people pushing behind them and their heartbeat is going nuts and they see this and they're like, ugh, they need this to be as clear as day. Joe, how, with your cold emails, for them to find some form of interest, they read your, they read your subject line. How do you get the, what do you do to get them to interact with you rather than be like, okay, well, this is just somebody, I don't know, I don't, don't really care about this, you know? I, uh, one of my childhood best friends, Will, he, uh, you know, I was very shy, like dating, right, in high school, let's say, um, and my friend Will was not. And so I would like overthink a lot of things, like, what do I say? You know, how do I approach? And um, he would say, you know, why don't you go and say hello? <laughs> And yeah, that's it, you know? And, and then I'm like, well, what if I want to ask her out for, you know, do I do pizza or, well, you know? And he's like, do you want to go out? Like, he was like, just be simple. And so like my subject lines are music and audio for future releases, like, mm. boom. Like the things I say are really clear because like Steven was alluding to, I mean, you know, I'm from New York. Somebody could be reading this on the subway and they have to use the bathroom like crazy. And they have 80 other people pushing behind them and their heartbeat is going nuts. And they see this and they're like, ugh. They need this to be as clear as day for them to like be like, I'll get back to this. You know what I'll I mean? Add, I'll add another item there. Um, something I've learned over time, which I, ha I wish I had learned 20 years ago with emails, always make sure that it's as short as humanly possible. And so like as few words as possible, I'm talking like a hundred words or less. And it should be extremely clear and simple, but you should also have one ask in there. Otherwise, oh, yes. what are they going to do with this? Um, I, I'm i in a position now that I get a lot of emails per day, and some of them are, are from composers, some of them are from um, game developers, what have you. But I'll tell you what I don't tend to respond to is when someone t gives me their life story. When someone <laughs> shoots me like a book, all these paragraphs, even if it's the sweetest thing in the world, sometimes I'll reply to those because I'm like, okay, they really, really need a response. But you get what I'm saying that that it's just an overwhelming thing and they send me links and links and links and they attach mp3s and it's like what did what do they think I do all day like what yeah who thinks I can read this let alone respond to it so and Matt helps me a lot with that so <laughs> and he, he can attest there's just sometimes these ridiculous emails it's like what the heck um so I said <laughs> you gotta think from the game developer side like one sentence maybe two sentences who are you what do you want and then if you can get that down to being clean, but also kind, man, you're gonna open up a lot of doors because even just like Joe said, you know, music and audio for future releases, that's cool, that's fine. Um, I would pose, what if you say something unique about them or unique about you that no one else has said? Um, there was once a guy um, who reached out to do an interview with me and I think the subject line was, hey, could I have seven minutes to ask you a question? something very weird and like particular. I'm like, oh, interesting. And then literally that was the ask. It's like, hey, I'd love to, to, um, to jump on a call for seven minutes. I have one question for you. It would mean a lot. And like that really caught my interest and was super curious. And he ended up being a super nice guy. We made a, a friendship out of that and a uh, cool thing from there. And how, how can we pose questions like this? Um, and in my experience, I've actually gotten uh, a lot of these recent gigs with um, AAA composers by asking similar questions. Granted, I've already had relationships with them, so it helps to be able to just throw a one sentence. Like the other day, uh, about a month ago, I reached out to an A-list composer and I literally said, hey, would you be interested in, in writing this thing with me? And it was just like a, a quick little one or two sentences. He's like, yeah, cool. How much, how much are we doing this for? Okay, cool. And just like within five minutes, had the gig and did the work, got paid, moved on. It's just like, that's sometimes how fast these things can go because of relationship. There was already relational equity there and I was providing work for him. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever tried to provide work for someone else? And granted, it was a collaboration kind of situation where, hey, this guy wants this over here. Game developer over here is looking for this. He actually really wants you, but maybe we can work together on this thing. And then boom, that's it. Uh, there's so many ways of doing this. Uh, so when it comes to emails, that's just my personal experience is be short, be sweet and have some kind of ask at the end. And don't be the guy that's like, 
Hey, you want to go grab a coffee? No, I don't. You're a stranger. Like, why? Why would I do that? But instead, what can you offer them that they is irresistible? Hey, if you liked that video and you'd like to check out more of what we do inside Video Game Music Alliance, I encourage you to check out our free case study. This is a quick guide that shows you how we helped one member increase his monthly revenue to $10,000 per month with video game music and how you can too. So this is a little document that you can download and take a look at by just filling out your first name, last name, email address, and we will send you that download right away for free. And as a bonus, you'll also get added onto our email list where you'll also get to check out uh, lots of cool things like our upcoming live streams, our upcoming events, when we launch next to come join the Video Game Music Alliance. So I hope that that is helpful for you and I'll see you in the next video.